Hey guys, so it's Elizabeth from Bronx Porch Homestead. It is actually nighttime here, sort of a little bit on the latest side. Um, I'm out because we do have a an issue with one of the hens. Uh, I noticed that the hen, I went to put the curtain down, that's what happened. I went to put the curtain down uh, over by the coop and I noticed that Missy here, there she goes. I noticed that Missy here um, was laying on the dirt and I do have gloves. And so we went to pick her up and she seems very, uh, almost like collapsed, you know, like her legs are not moving, uh, her wings are not moving. Um, so I did look up online a whole bunch of things and I know I had read a bunch of viruses and, and all and the reason why I thought it was a virus was because um, you know we do have now new hens in there the coop is a little bit more compact it's not small but it's still compact compared to you know we went from six hens to now 15 and even though it's a fairly large coop and it has a bunch of roosts and things like that um, there's a lot of stress levels on these hens so um, I'm thinking that you know a lot is going on however I did uh, check the hens back area where the egg comes out and she is really egg bounded um, I've seen this there's a lot of things that that we can do um, for one thing getting the egg out but it seems like it's really bounded. I'm not gonna. I'm not about to stick my hand uh, all the way inside a hen and then have the egg break, which is even worse because then it breaks inside her and then she gets. So I think I am gonna put some calcium. They said and try to feed her with the water. Um, most likely, she's probably not gonna gonna make it to uh, tomorrow. But let me flip the video and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I know it's a little dark and you can't really tell, but this is Missy here. She did move her um, her wing. It was caught in there. But I did I do have a little bit of calcium with water here. I don't know if she'll eat it. Or drink it but I can try I know she ain't gonna fly out but uh yeah so this is what it looks like I know it's dark because it's dark it's late at night yeah I can't really I can't really show you guys you know I am petting her I'm um, trying to rub the egg maybe down they said to Try to rub the egg down. She's not complaining, but I wish I can show you a little bit better. But yeah, it's really caked up in there. Um, I'm gonna pull back though because it's not it's not coming out good. I just don't have good light here. But we'll try. We'll see. Okay, at this time I'm actually giving her some of the water. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to give it to her, and she is at, she is actually taking it in. So that's a good sign, right? She did get up. She looks a little bit more alert now. Yep, yep. She's trying to swallow that water in. Yep, she's trying to get up. Okay. She ain't complaining, but that's not a good sign. Come on, sweetie pie. I don't know. I don't have my hopes up high here. Nothing? No more of the water? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, she's closing her eyes, so maybe that's yeah, that's not a good sign. Her belly is really extended out. Where the and the um the area where it's it's extended out, uh, she's trying to push out. But you can't even see the egg when you flipped when we flipped her over. You couldn't even see the egg, so it's all the way in there. And actually, it doesn't help that she's got that she's molting. So she's been molting for a while. So her wings are really uh, f featherless, and they're like very hard and spiky. So you got to be careful because even that hurts. So this is not going to be a happy ending for this hen. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I gave the hen some calcium like I have uh, seen some other pe people do. But I think it's, it's, um, it's been a couple of hours now. And even though I'm... I've been massaging the area for it to come down. Uh, it's difficult because she's still molting, um, or at least she's at the end of her molt. So there's a lot of spiky, um, there's a lot of spikes. And you don't want to press too hard either because that hurts as well. So she keeps opening and closing her eyes. I doubt this hen is going to make it for in, in, in the morning. I'm going to cover her up though, call it a night, and uh, wake up in the morning and see what happens. I will cover though because we have raccoons in the area, so um, plus she's not making any noise. Uh, so I guess I'll say my goodbyes. It happens. It, it happens with with homesteading um, animals.